Okay, it is that one that time once again where I show you guys a lot of drawings that I have done. Me and Raven are here chilling. And and if you thought 16 drawings that I made last time was was a lot, there's my game over poster. Um uh, we'll stand. If you thought 16 drawings wasn't enough, wait until you see this. BAM! A lot of drawings that I did. Now you might be wondering how I did this. Well, it started last week when I draw I I drew a lot of these drawings and then I and this week I drew a lot of drawings as well. So I'm gonna show you guys twenty one of the there is twenty one in total. Um uh both front there's gonna be a couple both front and back. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this and another one that I made that I feel like you guys will like. If you guys know what the game from. So let's go from top to bottom. So first off, we got uh, Luigi from um, Luigi's Mansion 3. I think this turned out really well as the the light green matches really well with him. And I, I think it's pretty cool. And not much to it. it I, I made the mustache black and the, 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 like the logo on his hat black because I, I didn't want to do like all green or else it could be a little bit like complicated so the only thing i did is i did the black mustache and the green logo the the g on his hat and as well i made i made his eyes pale because that's i because i didn't want to be like all green so you it's like basically a blob <laughs> so yeah that's Luigi from Luigi Mansion 3 Next one I did is Astro Jack. You guys remember Astro Jack from Travis Scott? He was a Fortnite skin, and he, I say much. This was a creative skin I did, honestly. What I basically did is I took the second style from Astro Jack, which was the sickle mode edit style, and I made it just like this. I made it a little bit blue. You can see like the orange, which is like the 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 jacket that he wears. He also has like a little bit of yellow and orange in like around his face. I assume, I assume that's a re resemblance of Travis Scott. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember what the reference of Astro Jack was being Travis Scott. Let me know. And I was gonna make. And if you know what was this green? If you guys don't know, in um, in Travis Scott's or Astro Jack's second sickle mode as style, there is a. You can see the map. Of the Fortnite map from chapter one and two, so I decided to make it a little bit green. I think this is done neatly well, honestly. I am, I really like this, and yeah, I think this went this turned out pretty good. Trying to um, record, um, try to uh, what you call it, move the camera. So next is uh, I think this dude's name is. Ollie from Paper Mario the Origami King. Now, I, I still haven't finished Origami King, by the way. I am coming back to it, actually. Um, not on the channel, but it's like off camera, so I can just play it. And I, I think this, this is pretty cool. Simple King Ollie from Paper Mario the Origami King. And I think it's pretty cool. You see, this is what you get. And to go along with that, I made Bobby from Origami King and Olivia. And I, I think these three are pretty cool. Three iconic characters from Origami King. Two, two good guys, or one that's a partner, one that's a good guy. Well, a sister of King Ollie, and King Ollie's a bad guy. Next, I did is Mims from Super Mario sixty four. This had to turn out really well. If you guys don't know, Mims is the rabbit that you catch in Super Mario sixty four, and I think this turned out really well. It's just a yellow rabbit. I made the his like legs a little bit brown, and I made his nose and eyes black. And I just think it's pretty good. Um, Mimps, Super Mario 64, is what you get. Next idea is Akuaku from Crash Bandicoot. I like I said, I I'm really a fan of Crash Bandicoot, and I I, I never played the old games, but I played um, Insane Trilogy, and I just made this just because it, it was again simple. And I figured, why not? I'll just make it. So, yeah. I really hope Crash Bandicoot is adding it to Smash Brothers Ultimate. I just feel like he'll be a good roster. But who knows? We have, we just have to wait maybe until E3. Next I did is Dirt Burger from Fortnite, obviously. I think this turned out pretty well. Um, I was going to make a tomato head, but I, I was going to just 
because I think this was the last one I did last week and I just stopped because I was like there was a lot of drawings I, a lot of drawings I did so I just said I'll do tomato head later later this week so yeah um I made this I'll probably do tomato head um next uh next two weeks I think whenever the next tour Mario Kart tour comes because if you guys didn't know every time a next tour comes in Mario Kart tour I make a drawing here just because I think this it, I just want to show you guys my skills and just overall like what I do for fun so yeah uh dark burger that's what you got next is friday night funkin stuff so i made if you guys didn't know friday night funkin is a rhythm game it's kind of like it's kind of like um guitar hero i kind of uh think about it's like guitar hero but you have to use your keyboard um to get the rhythm right You'll just look up Friday Night Funkin' and you'll 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 understand what these characters are. So I made a, and the these the names are just like straightforward. His name's Boyfriend, as the, that's the character's name, Boyfriend, and he's like the main person you play as. And I made the girlfriend mod. She she normally has a boombox in front of her, and I think uh, and I I started to see her pose normally. I wasn't. Probably the only thing I had to uh, made a problem about this uh, drawing is her hair. Her hair I messed up so badly, honestly. It's like a brownishy reddish color, and it was I think her color is like an orangish ish color. So I just made this. So yeah, uh, made the boyfriend, made the boyfriend mod, the character you mostly play as, and the girlfriend mod. And if you guys didn't know, um, in Friday Night Funkin', people make mods of of different characters from different video games. I don't know if it's from the creators himself, but I made Witty from Friday Night Funkin. He's one of the harder Friday Night Funkin characters to see as his rhythm and his like his beats are way are really fast and a lot of people I saw a bit Ryan he he beat it and it's tough. I never like played Friday Night Funk. I played it once but then I sucked at it. If you guys want me to play Friday Night Funkin let me know. I'll probably suck at it, but yeah, this is Witty. He's one of the hardest ones to do, honestly, in Brian Funkin, as he, like I said, his beats, his the way you play, it's really quick. You gotta be like quick on your feet. So yeah, I made the wind mod. It's like basically like a bomb with a jacket and uh, pants and shoes. And yeah, I think this turned out really well. Now next, the next ones I'm gonna do. Next ones are. Based off the Henry Stickman collection, you guys remember Henry Stickman, a game I played a couple of years ago? I said I'd make a lot of that. So, first off, I made a smug of Henry Stickman. Henry Stickman makes this face in the game. I don't remember when, but he make. I remember he does. He makes this face, and it's kind of fun. I, it was simple. I figured, why not? I'll just make this face. So I I drew the face. So yeah, that's Henry. Um, I like a smug smile face. It looks a little bit creepily. It looks like he's looking at you. Um, on top of that, I made two, or I made, yeah, well, no, not really. I made, hold on, I'm going to show you guys, because I don't know if you guys know Henry Stickman. Hold on, let me get my chair quick, and let me show you guys. So, I'm going to show you guys first the, the drawing I made, so, oops. So this is the right hand man from Henry Stickman. I made two. Um, one from his original form. His original form had was from fleeing the complex, and he normally had a black hat with with a red mustache. But in the remake, he had now he has a black hat, and he has like a robot sort of like face, kind of like the Terminator a little bit, and he has an orange sort of mustache so i'll show you guys what he looks like let me uh hold on let me get to it okay so this is what he looks like pretty cool he, this is what he normally looks like this is what i this is what i kind of drew i kind of drew based off this picture basically and the, his original form looks like this and that's the one i also drew so yeah you can kind of see the difference with again he has a red mustache he has a black hat but in this one, he has an orange mustache and a robot sort of face. And that's what I kind of do with these two. 
and I, I think it's pretty good. Next one I did is a teleporter. This is one of the objects that Henry uses to escape, and it usually fails, but there, there's like one or two times it it's actually good. Um, and I think it's pretty good. It's one of the most iconic, honestly, objects in Henry Stickman. Because I, I believe, that, like I said, in every attempt Henry uses the teleport, it always fails. And like I said, if you guys want me to do um, Henry Stickman, let me know. I'm not going to probably do the collection because A, it's on Steam. I don't have Steam. And B, it costs me some money. And I don't have Steam for money. So if you guys want me to do like a remake of the Henry Stickman, let me know. And I'll I definitely I'll do that because Henry Stickman is one of my favorite series series yeah series to do as it's just like a cool little click and see what you get sort of game and yeah i made the teleporter pretty cool but we got 10 minutes here we got 11 minutes here so yeah, just quick next is uh, i'll go for i'll go to the right first this is um let me, let me find his name his name is reg reginald reginald from henry stickman aka the leader of the top hand clan he they, he looks like this he's basically the leader of the top hand clan with two double side hats one of the hats is actually what henry wears if you choose one of the options as a top hand clan and he has like a, a golden like watch or a golden like sign on his like uh neck and he has like a pistol and i just made it based off the gold chain and the double hats and the uh, brown mustache. I think it, it went pretty good. Next I did is Dimitri from Henry Stickman. This is based off the wall. If you guys remember in the beginning where Henry gets trapped and you see this dude where he basically greets him saying, hey, you're going to be in here for a long time in the wall. And I, I think it's pretty good. He's also in the collection. Um, I believe he comes back in the collection, but I don't remember when. But yeah, this is also what it looks like. Pretty cool. And this is what I drew. So yeah. Uh, anything? Oh yeah. I also made Henry, <laughs> Henry as the leader of the top hand clan. I think this looks cool, but my only complaint is the eyes. The eyes look like he's an alien. Just looks so creepy. You got the yellow hat, the yellow sign that's supposed to represent the, the, the hat that I showed you guys for the other dude. And yeah, this is just creepy though. His eyes creep me out. It's like a alien. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's pretty good, honestly. Um, next I did is the airship from Henry Stickman. This is based off fleeing the complex. This is the airship that you use to break in. This is if and also this is the the airship that you use in Among Us. If you guys remember the airship, this is the airship that you you go in in Among Us where. You, I think it was added like a couple of like weeks or months ago and you get to it was it was a brand new map. It was pretty cool, honestly. I really do like it. I'm a fan like I said, I'm a fan of Henry Stickman. And fun fact, Henry Stickman and Among Us are made by the same developers. Puffballs uh un unit united? Uni, but yeah, that's kind of a little fun fact. The same creators who made Among Us made the same um Henry Stickman games. So that's kinda cool. Um, next I did is the, the icon of t the Top Hand Clan, which is a hat with the Top Hat logo. I think it's pretty good. Simple enough. Pretty cool. Alright, Jesus, I feel like I've gone talking for a bit. Um, that's all the drawings, but I said there's one more drawing I'm going to show y'all. And um, I'm going to my camera real quick. I'm going to hide my camera so I can show y'all. You probably, you guys probably know since I since you guys see in the thumbnail, but I made a sand drawing from Undertale. I never played Undertale. I probably will get like a shame saying, "Oh, you should play Undertale because Undertale's a fun game." And I heard, I heard, because I know a lot of people love Undertale. And I, I made, I just made Sans. He's iconic. I, I know, I seen a little bit of him in Undertale, and just based off like gameplay and sorts. And I just, I figure why not, I'll make stands. And yeah, I, I might make more Undertale uh, characters, who knows. So yeah, so let me hide my camera real quick so I can show you guys overall view. Thanks for watching, by the way. Like I said, I usually do these, 
um, right after, right before, um, right before Mark Hart, a new Mark Hart tour event or Mark Hart tour, um, tour starts. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a review. That's Luigi from Luigi's Mansion 3. Astro Jack from Astro Jack the Sickle Mode and a from Fortnite or Travis Scott, if you want to call it. Um, Ollie from Paper Mario the Origami King. Bobby and Olivia from Origami King. The Top Hat logo from Henry Stickman. Sans from Undertale. Der Burger from Fortnite. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. And Witty from Five Night Funkin'. The Airship from Fleeing the Complex, aka Henry Stickman. Uh, right Hand Man as a robot in his normal version. And Henry Smug. Um, Dimitri Regn Regnold, I think that's how I'm saying his name. A teleporter. And Henry as um, the leader of the top end clan from Henry Stickman. All of those from Henry Stickman. Um, Mims from Super Mario 64. And Akuaku from Crash Bandicoot. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I think this is this is probably one of the biggest drawings I've done. This is I think this is I counted before. This is twenty one drawings I've done. It's probably the largest I've done so far. So yeah, let me know which one's your favorite. If you guys like this, make sure to like subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where a new pl where I'll make a new mobile game. You guys probably already know, and a new tour of Mario Kart tour. Peace out.